So I was actually gonna react to Oberon's Battle Dim, a boss battle dim from the game Fate Grand Order Ride, but I ended up finding this the seventh anniversary special life re collection of Avalon Le Fay, a little concert of the music from this freaking game and you know what i'm fucking in because i have learned just a couple of things from making videos in youtube one it is unmissable bro if you see that there is a japanese music concert you need to see that man it is an unmissable experience and second thing unmissable is to not comment liking nor subscribing that shit is a capital sin so if you haven't done so please do it because if you don't well you actually will make me pretty sad so please do no further delay let's get into this <laughs> Beautiful soprano singing there. Okay, right off the bat, you know what? The drums groove is pretty interesting because he's doing this hi-hat pattern quite syncopated a little bit fast, but the rest of the groove is to while so it's very interesting because of that contrast. He's playing fast, but he's playing slow at the same time. That is a very confusing groove in terms of of why did they do that very intriguing guitar counter melody Bro, I need more volume. Wait, uh, really quick. I'm loving the guitar counter melodies, but they are so back in the mix. <sighs> Man, it's such a shame. The mixing is a little bit of, of a mess, in my opinion. I felt that, man. I felt uh, the pain of that poor guitarist. He was given his all. He, he was just nailing that piece, all stylish, so bad looking. Well, so badass looking. <laughs> Not bad. He such a badass but no no one is hearing anything i hope that at least live for the audience that was there actually the guitar was more hearable because the quality of the recording and or the mix of the recording uh it hurts man but 
that happens so many times to guitar players and especially in these contexts that is the reason why it is so hard to perform a concert that will be at the same time an album or any type of recorded material live albums all those stops are a fucking challenge for musicians and uh, audio engineers Okay, second song. We have two guitars. Ah, the harmonic. It's kind of introspective. And the pictures of that city reminds me of Attack on Titan City. Shiganshina. Oh, really beautiful keyboard play in there. The two guitar players, see? And we have some strings accompaniment that I personally think are been doing, um, are being played by an electric piano with effects. That or a pre recorded loop. I love the guitar riff, if you can listen to that a little bit in the background doing or something like that it has the same approach that some string sections you have listened to that right in string sections in orchestra or things like that so it's very interesting how one guitar is doing that and for example um, at the first part of the song the other guitar was playing more open chords so that interaction there is the usual one you want but normally one is the rhythm guitar and the other one does the melody and since the violin is doing the lead melody the other guitar is in charge of the delicious ornaments did you listen to that there you have the strings I was talking about. Tiki tuku, tiki tuku. So one of the guitars is supporting that motif. Yes, sir. Again, please. Okay, only once. Okay. It seems they fixed it. See the electric piano I was talking about? <laughs> Bro, being a guitar player is sure dope. Most of the times. Oh, yes, sir. It's like we're ascending, man. We're getting near the gates of heaven. <laughs> 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 
they fixed the volume of the guitar a little bit. Of the guitars. This violinist has so much charisma. Hey! <laughs> Bro, that's like a little devil, like a nymph making pranks in hell. Dip, 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 With a little bit of staccato at the end of the notes, you know, they are being, uh, those notes are being cut very, very suddenly, abruptly. Dip, 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 dip. It's not the entire length of the note, you know, that, 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 that. No, it's not like this, but that, 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 that. Um, see, it sounds very, very, very interesting. And they have a regulator, something that changes the intensity in terms of volume, a crescendo regulator there wait, 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 wait. here it comes at least the piano has a regulator each note is louder than the previous one The Estacado! And the Ominous Choir? With a funky guitar! What the hell? A funky guitar? A funky party guitar? For a very dark theme! But it works so freaking well! Sounds dramatic. Even if we have these breakdowns, they are lacking a little bit of power, I don't know. A little bit of that special something. Okay, guitar player, I see you. He's playing with a wah pedal. It's clever. That riff is clever, man. Serunos. Okay. It's funny because everything, especially the choir, sounds like we're entering in a profane temple. But the drums groove is just so freaking tasty and easy to dance to. It's like, oh my god, it's like the pattern of the Caribbean club and our reggaeton music. Well, if you wanted to depict hell, nothing better than reggaeton. Let's go. Yeah, because it's bullshit. Oh. Let's go.
I love that melody. Is this the same theme? Bro, she's such a performer. Her facial expressions, her body language, obviously her performance and delivery in, in her violin playing. Is this real or is, is this a charge in my tongue? That entrance. She plays so in tune. That is one of the most basic aspects of playing music, being in tune. But you gotta admire how even her vibrators are in tune so 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 tight in tuning Okay, Dobby is on there. Okay, you know what's interesting? How intertwined is the violin melody line with the bass line? Because it is based in these uh, dotted quarter notes. Pam, 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 pam. And they meet each other at those or at that pattern. Listen. Wait, oh, oh, was it here or was it before? Here. They go together. And until this point, the bass player was doing something complimentary, but uh, not that similar to the main melody. Holy fuck, that was bittersweet, it's like accepting losing someone and moving on. Oh, the bass synth, we have a bass synth sequence here. If I listen to this one, Well, I don't know. Oh! Again here, man, again. The guitar volume went down. And it is such a shame because they are playing a beautiful chorus effect. Well, one of them is playing with that effect. Beautiful arpeggios.
Tum da 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 da. He's like taking little leaps. Da 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 da. Oh, oh, this piano player is insane. I was thinking about them. They are insane, man. Tegu tegi tegu tegu tegi tiri. Motivic variation there. She's nailing this. She's a, a, a showgirl, a showwoman. You know what? I think I know the reason of, of whatever is happening here. We have multiple um, hypotheses, right? Like, this happened because this isn't the official fade or whatever channel, right? Oh my god, this is actually the official channel. No way. This seems to be the official channel, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't want to, to trash talk this company or anyone. Because I, as I was saying, this has many reasons that may have led into what happened here. Maybe it's not uh, the fault. I hate looking for faults, the people's fault. But this may be or not the audio engineer uh, fault. But it's sometimes our fault as guitarists. Yes, sir. Sometimes we set up our effects not that properly. And the volume of one or other effect will be higher or lower than the others we do not um sometimes it can happen it's it's a mistake well it's yeah something improvable at least because we should foresee what volume levels require um certain levels or certain atmospheres in certain songs maybe that was what happened um in their defense it was a pretty odd format with the violinist and the supporting vocals it's hard to stand out a little bit so it could have been because of the venue because of the audio engineer the guitarists the added difficulty of uh, performing live as well as recording it is not easy technically that is why companies like Genshin Impact or Mihoyo Hoyoverse whatever have been so successful because they achieve and succeed doing these very technical complex things such a shame also in terms of composition it was pretty enjoyable i like that every instrument had a very specific role in terms of that sometimes in some osts we have so much going on so many instruments playing so many lines and all of them are so overwhelming we did not have that here that is very respectable and interesting i think that maybe this ost lacks a little bit of, of that i don't know of that x factor that makes it special, you know? Like it needed some song to be uh, more powerful. Maybe everything was so well organized in this format that uh, it could have actually been a little bit more disorganized. We needed a little bit of chaos. Yeah, we needed that. Either way, very interesting. Hopefully they will be another, they will do, excuse me, another anniversary concert soon. And uh, I know and I hope that it will be better. I know they will improve, uh, but uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching and have a blast of a day, please. Peace.